So just some really quick things just before we start. Um, we want to welcome, uh, obviously, our international fighters, uh, Damien Grabowski, um, all the way from Poland. Tiberius from Poland. Obviously from the UK we have uh, Patrick Joller and former UFC fighter Ollie Thompson. Um, a second thing is we just, you know, we want to thank the media guys, MMA Plus, uh, Love to Fight, Typhoon MMA, um, and all the photographers who've taken the time to come down and, and make the event kind of happen. A little bit about who we are and what we do because it's, uh, we're brand new to the, to the UK. Um, we, we formed this idea a little while ago, uh, and the idea wasn't just to compete with any, we're not here to compete, it's not a, a dick measuring competition. Uh, what it is, is we just want to add to the platform for fighters to be able to come and, and show their skills uh, in an honourable way, and, and that's hopefully what we're going to do. Uh, the plan for MMC Fight Club is, is to host four shows, uh, next year and then one show at the end of the year which will be an MMC elite show and it's not a matter if they win or lose their fights during the, the year but it's about the fighter who fights with heart. First of all if, uh, what he's asking is that anyone here has any questions for Tiberius about his fight? Um, Tiberius, um, there's rumours that you've got a bit of an issue with your opponent, um, can you tell us? Tomku, znasz moje nastawienie, nastawienie jest tylko jedno, powiem wszystkim, ja tylko wygrać, zawsze jeżdżę na zawody, chyba wszyscy zawodnicy jadą wygrać, więc moje nastawienie jest jechać i wygrać. He, he will try to make it the uh, best performance and try to win it quickly, as best as he can, and try to knock out my, my match in Ireland as quick as possible. So, in what areas do you feel you are superior to your opponent in terms of striking? Moją mocną stroną na pewno jest tutaj warunki fizyczne, no i będę tego się trzymał do, do samego końca, więc siła przede wszystkim. Yeah, the player says that his attitude is, is because he was a strong man, so his attitude is uh, physical strength and punch. So he will be prepared for all the K1 rules fighting. So I, the best is he can is his strength and then physical preparation. So this is, this is his ace in the pocket. Hi there. Um, how many K1 bouts have you had so far? Jeszcze nie miałem żadnych walk. To jest moja pierwsza walka, pierwszy pojedynek, więc. Dam z siebie wszystko, a pokażę to w grudniu. This will be his first fight. And you ask about how many fights does he have, right? No, this will be his first fight. He never fought before, never trained martial arts before, only some in the younger years. So, so this will be the debut against Martin Nyman, 60 to 7. And uh, do you feel confident using your legs? Od urodzenia jestem pewny siebie, więc tak jak każdy sportowiec, tak jak mówiłem, jadę tylko wygrać i tylko to mnie interesuje. Tiberius said that he is confident since he was born. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good answer. So he, and uh, he will smash March and Diamond down. So, so he is confident he will do this. Good, good questions, guys. Um, we don't have Naiman here at the moment, but we have... Uh, Patrick Joller here from the UK, 6-0 um, as a semi-professional fighter and 2-0 as a professional fighter. I'll be honest with you, MMC, when we looked and we had the applications coming in, we didn't, we didn't know much about Patrick. He was kind of the guy that was overlooked a little bit. When you look at his record, it's a, it's a pretty impressive record. So Patrick's making uh, the debut on MMC. Um, so again, questions to Patrick. Um, we'll open them up, and um, there's a rising star right here, so you know, present some good uh, questions for him. Um, as he said, uh, you, can't, you come into this fight um, not, not as well known as some of the other fighters. Do you think that MMC provides 
that, that show brand for you to really make a name for yourself in the UK? Absolutely. I mean, um, it's an international show. I mean, the thing that put me to the show really, Eddie, that's just, um, you know, the camp told me that um, Eddie's having a show. I've seen these guys, I've seen Jason, and like, I've seen these guys fight, and, and I like all the things that they do. So, for me, it wasn't as much as like MSC as uh, Eddie, um, so he's that you know, got me to the show. And, you know, um, it will, it will put me out there, like, this show is going to be uh, international, this is my first international show, so, I mean, in terms of making a name for myself, this is it, really. Um, you know, I sort of think it's about time for me to get out there. Like, that being on the radar, people not knowing who I am, because that means they can't go on YouTube and find my fights and, uh, you know, and do their research, so, I have no problem being the sort of unknown person at all, really. So are you daunted by the task that, as you said, going under the radar, once you've actually fought on this show, that you're kind of going to be, you know, in the sights of every other fighter in your weight class? Uh, not all. Um, the shows I have for have, have all been big shows. I mean, um, um, my last two profiles have been at UCMMA, which is, um, you know, possibly the biggest show in the UK after uh, BMMA. So, you know, um, I have no problem being on the big shows. I, like, I like being at big shows, but um, I sort of don't like being the guy that goes out there saying, oh, you know, this is me, this is me, this is me. I just want to go in there, win the fight, go home, you know. So I have no problem yeah, fighting big know. shows. Get my health here, after you, yeah. Um. Yeah, where do, where do you feel more comfortable fighting? On the ground or stand up? Um, at first, um, when I first started in MMA, I was more of a grandfather. I come from rugby, um, so you know everything was on the ground, takedowns, everything. Um, like I said, for the last sort of um, year or so since I got into MMA, all I've been doing is working striking. So standing up, um, my first pro fight, I won striking. My second pro fight, I won on the ground. So I could fight anywhere. I couldn't care less really. So striking, wrestling, on the ground, it's all the same to me. Uh, do you know a lot about your opponent who you're facing? Uh, his background, anything like that, what he's strong at? Um, I sort of know a bit. Um, I, I, like, I haven't done all my research yet, but the lucky thing is one of my journey partners was something I beat him um, <coughs> a few fights ago. So um, I'm going to take some tips from him, um, you know, and sort of just, just do the same thing, really. Do you think that's a disadvantage? Disadvantage of not knowing? Um, no, because to be honest, I mean, um, the worst you'll fight, yeah, you go in and do your research and you can do as much as you want, but you know, if you do your research somewhere as a grandfather, he, like, for like the time that, um, since his last fight to this one, he may be working on the opposite thing and he can't be totally different game. So, you know, everyone has a thing they revert to, but you can't go by someone's last fight to surface when you're doing it. So, to be honest, I, I couldn't care from fighting Jai Larry or Ben Henderson. For me, it's just the same thing. I'm getting them to do the same thing, and that's to win. Regarding the future of MMC, are you on a rolling contract, or are you on? A, is it if you lose, you're off, or if you win, you carry on? You know what? Um, I will win. Uh, there's no uh, if you lose, then that doesn't happen. Um, but you know, um, I'll be fighting. Um, you know. Uh, if I get more fights in MMC, in MMC, brilliant. Um, but you know, for me, all that matters is the next fight. I'm not thinking about contract two years down the line. It doesn't make a difference to me. This fight is all like is all that matters. Everything else is is from you know the 17th of December onwards. 16th of December is what I'm training for. Don't care what I'm doing. Good answer. The the MMC team. Uh, when you asked about rolling contracts. Right now, we're brand new. You know, we, we don't really want to tie these guys in to anything with us. Um, just because it's our first show, as you're all aware. And, you know, we're fans of fights, you know. I'm a fighter myself, so having these guys on a card which was put together by myself is, is insane, you know. Um, so the rolling contract thing at the moment, it doesn't happen right now. It's the same as there's no championship belts right now. Even though, granted, both Oli and uh, Damien could easily be champions of MMC, we, we didn't feel that was right to do that at this moment in time. Um, maybe in a few shows down, perhaps great talent in Europe, in the 
the UK, in Japan, that we would like to bring over and, uh, and really test the fighters here, um, just like we did here. So, uh, so that's something else that's happening uh, later next year. Um, so I'm going to go straight over to the main event with uh, a man who needs no introduction, 16 and 1, Damien Grabowski. Uh, the rumour is he's the European number one heavyweight. Also, another guy who needs no introduction, I'm a fan of Oli Oli Thompson, uh, former UFC fighter. Four weeks before the fight, what's your training? Sorry. The next four weeks, what, what's your training going to be? Is it going to be uh, strength conditioning, more like just your, your basic? What, what will you be doing for the next four weeks? Uh, my next four weeks, obviously, it's pretty, pretty standard uh, how, we do, how we do things. We all have our own routines. Um, I timed out my training as far as my fight a week ago. I didn't consider that in my, in my diary. I, I timed my training for this fight with Damien. Um, that was my priority of what I was doing. Um, so we've got four weeks today, and uh, it's basically going to be four long, horrible weeks. And, uh, and then we, we, get to, uh, we get to get it on the 16th, and uh, we get to enjoy ourselves in there. Okay, and wait at the moment and wait on the day, is there much to lose? Uh, well, I'm not, I'm not making a weight limit as such, because uh, I never hit 120 kilos, which is the general conceived weight limit, obviously in the UFC and the big organisations. Um, I'm below it. I, I don't know too much about what I weigh right now. I'm pretty hungry, so uh, you know, <laughs> ask me about half an hour. But, um, I, I, I'm, I'm probably weighing 117, but I'll, but I'll, I'll weigh less on the fight day. is a good platform to try and get yourself back to the UFC. Uh, the MMC show looks great. Uh, it's been run very professionally. Um, the guys are all very hospitable, and I, I, I like what I see so far uh, from this new show. Um, as far as maybe one day returning to the UFC or just returning on the bigger stage, you know, it's a great place to be in the UFC. Everybody uh, aspires to be in the big places. But the reality is, aside from financially, we, we, got, we have to aspire to the big fights. Not the big organizations, the big fights. They do normally come in the organizations, but it's the big fights that count. And this is a big fight. This fight could be on the UFC card, and it would, it would, it would be a good fight, sitting in the middle of the card. So uh, as far as I'm, I, I consider it, this is the same for me. <laughs> I'm a professional fighter, so I fight wherever I go, my conditions are so, everything is fine, we made a contract, we get it here, I'm a fighter, I fight. Um, one more question for Damien, um, what is the um, professional record? 16 and 1. 16 and 1. 16 and 1. Guys, so we're going to come to a close. I, I really appreciate you guys coming down and, and taking the time out. Before we go, I'm, I'm just going to announce the main fights that we have that night so, uh, so you guys can kind of uh, hopefully help us promote them a little bit. We was never going to have an undercard because the undercard here is still 
has the makings of being a, a great card. But I'm just going to announce the main card. Um, the undercard will be announced later on, so I think it's only fair for you guys that we announce it. So the main card will be Chris Barras versus uh, Robert Scugins. Um Paul Reed, uh, who's also a KSW fighter, versus uh, Sebastian Graberic from Poland. That was a fight that was meant to happen on Shark MMA, um, which has since the demise. We have uh, Dave Lee versus Tom and Moon Lee Highton, another amazing fight. Um, Marcin uh, Neyman versus uh, Tiberius uh, Kowals Kowalczyk. And the main event, which is a phenomenal main event, um, Ollie Thompson versus uh, Damien Grabowski. Uh, once again, thanks, you, thanks to you guys for coming out and uh, supporting what we do, and uh, we hope to see you guys at the fight. Thank you.